Biafra Self Referendum still going on in Biafra land and don't forget we have recorded more than 50 million votes in this very Biafra Self Referendum going on and Biafrans are still trooping out in mass to cast their vote as Biafra Prime Minister His Excellency Manza Simonet were posted a video of Biafrans trooping out in mass to cast their vote. Welcome back to Biafra and you support Biafra. People of goodwill Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from Biafrans, I'll bring you this very update straight from Biafra. For Prime Minister His Excellency Mazda Simon was official ex handle and the video of him sending a message and making it clear how Biafra will be declared and defended. So, before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell right beside it to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section. So, Biafra Prime Minister also posted some some criminal IPOB members that never believed in what Biafra Prime Minister is doing in Zesalensi Mansa Simon Epa. Uh, achievements and all he has been doing to make sure Biafra is restored. They are using his name to seek a saloon. <laughs> Biafra Prime Minister said IPOB Nigeria criminals are using my name to seek a saloon in some European countries. Can you imagine that? These are people that never believed in what he's doing. They, people that called him a prima. People that called him scammer. Agent of Nigeria. There is no name. They have not called him. There is no lies and propaganda. Blackmail. They have not pushed. And they all keep back, uh, backfiring to all of them. Saboteurs. So Biafra Prime Minister posted this also. And I'm going to bring it to you here. For the Biafra self-referendum voting video. You will see it at the end of this very update. And Biafra Prime Minister video also. You will see it at the end of this very update. So pay attention as we continue. So Biafra Prime Minister posted video of Biafra self-referendum going on. And he said Biafra self-referendum voting today. Um, oh, this is record breaking. In one unit people. In one unit. Please listen to the woman at the end of the video. Biafrans has made up their mind freedom or die yes there is a woman that spoke at the end of this very video so pay attention so that you will listen to what she said people are tired of nigeria the provishment the hardship everything in dazu the terrorism the backwardness people are tired of it it's only the, you don't listen to the lies on the propaganda of zoo got a brand envelope media and simon myself acclaimed the prime minister the secessionist autopilot and all of that people are tired in that zoo and they want nothing but freedom a country that would develop for the masses to benefit and enjoy not a country that the government the government will keep telling you to endure while they are buying five million uh, uh, five million dollars car for a president private jet there are no schools no hospital no road no water no electricity nothing nothing and they are telling you to endure hardship endure poverty endure everything and they keep budgeting for more presenter jets and their, and their cars while the masses are suffering. That is not the kind of country we are fighting for. Rather, we are fighting to exit such country that don't care about the well-being of the masses, the citizens. They only care about themselves and their pockets. How to fill their pockets more and more. And not how to give to the masses, even if it's one quarter of what they are stealing. We are fighting for a country where everybody will be happy in. A country where everybody will be comfortable. If you are not, if you are not super rich, you are okay, you're comfortable. Not a country where you feed from hand to mouth. We are fighting for a country where beer friends will feel comfortable and not being impoverished or face any kind of hardship. That is the country we are fighting for. So listen to that woman in the end at the end of this on the end of that video. You will hear it yourself. That Biafrans are ready to exit Dazu, over ready to exit because they have. Nigeria has really dealt with the masses, or should I say, with the, the, the citizens. Everybody wants nothing but freedom. It's only the Afonjas and the Fajanas that don't want others to be free, that you see welling and they're ranting up and down. Oh, Simon is a. Oh, Simon is a scammer. Oh, he's deceiving autopilot. Oh, he's deceiving. We are not complaining to you. So, why are you taking Panada over our headache? I don't really understand some of Anjas, Sasha. Well, I read some of their this is some of their comments that Biafra Prime Minister posted, and he said nobody has provoked the Afonjas the way the way he has provoked them, and it's peppering them all. So we must continue.
Threat to the next update, Biafra Prime Minister said, IPOB Nigeria criminals are using my name to seek asylum in some European countries, claiming I am one of the founder of IPOB Nigeria because they know this because they know this is only name ringing bell globally about Biafra. One of the European countries has contacted the Biafra government and they will, will expose your lies. They attacked me on social media and used my name to seek a salon in the name of Biafra. Okay, so these people don't really know that when you say, oh, you have a government and so 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 person is the prime minister, oh, you can also confirm it. You don't know that they will really want to confirm if you're telling them the truth. That is what then these criminals and saboteurs don't really understand. These people are not to be, if you think oh, you can tell them and they will just wave it, they will like to confirm. There is a Biafra government and the prime minister name and the prime minister of this government in Nezal is Simon Epa. They will look, they will search it up online. They will look up, they will search it up and know if you're telling them the truth and they will contact, they will write to the office and know if it's really, if the office really exists, if it's legit or not. And now Biafra Prime Minister have made it clear that we are going to expose your lies. What do you people have to say about that? You people that choose part of, uh, part of sabotage. Oh, Simon Eba is a Berima. Oh, he's agent of Nigeria. Oh, he's a scammer. And you have the audacity to seek a salon with his name. One of the... <laughs> uh, well, we must continue. Biafra Prime Minister said, Biafra government have been contacted. Mm -hmm. And we will expose your lies. Okay. They attacked me on social media and used my name to seek a salon in the name of Biafra. All of you that are using my name thinking they will not contact the Biafra government. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, because they thought once they tell them they will not contact Biafra government. It's in the Europe, we will, especially when you are becoming when you are coming to be a liability to them. Ah, really? They will want to know if you're telling them the truth or not. So they contacted the Biafra government to confirm if it's true or not. <laughs> and now, Rokotom Nage Wani Hu Ndochang Ununine Ya No De. Oh, oh, Kwasai Mane Bawe Berima. Oh, he's a scammer. You people have been attacking him. You people have been calling him names, pushing him all kinds of uh, lies and propaganda. There is no matter of lies and propaganda they have not pushed against him. For what exactly? A man that picked up the mantle that was dropped on the floor after the kidnap of our leader by those that claim to be fighting for our freedom he found out that they have sold out he picked up this very mantle and said no i'm not going to allow this very mantle to be trampled on by the oppressors and the enemies of freedom and since then he has been holding this very mantle very strong and straight ah <laughs> uh, okay so we must continue we must continue when okay even when you submitted the letter issued by your fellow criminals they ignored that and they contacted the Biafra government. You are gone. <laughs> hmm? I'm not, I don't pity any of you. And I'm a metro neighbor because I, I sometimes I've been asking myself, do you people even reason at all? Upon all our leader taught us on Radio Biafra, every time our leader online, on our the reason our medical always says, hold your pen and paper so that you'll be jotting down all you'll be, all, all, all you'll be saying. Or, or he said, but you, you people will go there and listen. Go and listen to Simon Eba. It's very, very important to listen to him and share his videos. He's bringing a new dimension. When what happened happened, when our leader was kidnapped, it was up to you, criminals, to sit back without bringing you, yourselves out. Without bringing your saboteur faces online. There was one who had wear glass at that time. Yeah, I am. He was uh, laughing and uh, making caricature of himself. He's nowhere to be found. <laughs> they left him behind. They did not give him his own share. So he's nowhere to be found. I've not been seeing his video for years now. Yeah? So you people would have asked yourselves questions like, how is it possible that Simon Eba is a complicity in the kidnap of Mazen Namdekan where he was not even working with him, where he was not even close to him? So what happened to those that was close to uh, Hamadike? Why didn't they raise their line? So why didn't they allow the beer friends that Hamadike have not been heard from for days? You people did not ask, oh, Simon Eba is a complete, that is the lie and the propaganda they told you people to push and you people fell for it. Now you people have been left behind. Uno neji Biafra Prime Minister, Biafra Government, I get sick as I get, but uno ye sick one one in a saloon. You people don't believe in what he's doing, but you people want to use his name and Biafra Government to seek a saloon. Are you people serious? 
Because now, you know, you are a member of IPOB or you're a member of Biafra and our government in Ezao in Finland, you can confirm. Here is our office number. Here is our email. You can write them and confirm. I'm a full member of IPOB. They would like to confirm if you're telling them the truth before you become a liability to them. That is what these people don't really understand. You are become, you are coming to be a liability. So they want to confirm if truly you, there is a government fighting for your freedom. They are a Benin. So we must continue, dear friends. <laughs> but the criminals using his name to seek asylum. But I'm talking about them. Hmm. Now I'm going to be watching our phone. You people are not part of us and can never be. You people choose the part of sabotage. Okay. You people choose the part of sabotage. So we must continue. Biafra Prime Minister posted a screenshot of the Biafra self referendum video he posted, and one of them just said. The way this man is comfortably, is comfortably scamming some Igbo people, eh? He's also organized, okay, he also organized this same referendum for some gullible people last year. <laughs> it's now a yearly thing. The, 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 when and uh, how, where? The self-referendum uh, voting. The, 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 is it not this year self-referendum voting started? The Afonjas have not started crying. This is just the big Ifa, Jonas, and Afonjas. There was nothing like self-referendum voting last year. First, uh, self-referendum voting started this year, 1st of uh, February. It wasn't last year. It wasn't last <laughs> Well, we must continue. So, the Afro Prime Minister posted this very uh, comment and said... The Afonja said we organized referendum for Biafra, for Biafrans last year. <laughs> they have not started panicking. This is just the beginning. The like Biafra Prime Minister said nobody has ever provoked the Afonjas the way he had provoked them. And they will keep having panic attack and keep having sleepless night. Another one said, Biafra Prime Minister posted it also. Another one said, imagine Sunday Boho on Twitter every day attempting to use uh, souls on Igbos every day. Just imagine what the whole Nigeria will be going through now. Hmm? Biafra Prime Minister said, Afonjas are crying and they will keep... <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go for that. Seriously. Because Biafra Prime Minister is really dealing with them. Any of them post through anything, he will screenshot it and repost it. So that talk the way here, I had a sending one and said, Oh, so cool, so what? Yeah, so boy, only here, and we were young with boy, and we are fighting for our freedom, and they are they are they are there deceiving themselves. We are going home, hmm? we are going home. So, dear friends, let me reach the comment before we round up. First person said, PM, your excellency, met the government, okay, met, <laughs> met the government, dear friend. Still check whether this uh, USIPOB Nigeria criminals uh, P, uh, PL, PLC still go the beg money with uh, Kong Kong with the Biafra government name. Nothing this IPOB Nigeria criminal PLC uh, uh, no fit do. After years of insulting PM, now you criminals are using his name to seek a salon. Where is the uh, chicken? Okay, chicken and dozia and China Somushi. China China Somushi Mohammed Abbas under. Okay, Unalida. So they were really begging for ESN for support ESN with uh, Bangalore. Now look at it. I'm looking at it here. Now I'm going to screenshot this very comment and uh, post it. And I'm going to add it. Just check the screen. You see the screenshot of the Bangalore they were using to beg for money. And I person said, my people everywhere, even God won't let you get that salon. Okay. And I person said, please sir, be careful. Before December 2nd, Finnish government may be three and arrest you. Don't underestimate Europe. Europe. They are very evil. I will only say the truth. Yeah, we know they are very cunning. Mm. They are very cunning. We are aware of that. But Chukwu Kekabiyama is in charge this time around. The enemies will put to shame. Our freedom is what we are fighting for. We are not dragging Nigeria. We are not forcing Nigerians to go with Biafra. Rather, we are telling them to conduct a referendum. So that everybody will go their separate ways. But they refuse. Now we have conducted the self-referendum voting by ourselves and we have recorded more than 50 million votes. Hmm? So we must continue and represent they are hopeless. They are hopeless since he found Oba that he promised them heaven and earth. No hope again for them. That is the reason. That is the reason they are using your name to seek a salon. China has a more of shame on you. On you. Okay. And that person said, Bridgie is government choosing for liberation of Biafrans wherever in the world by, wherever in the world by, 
Chukwoke Kabiyama. Whoever neglects this very bridgy and His Excellency Masa Simonepa, Prime Minister of Biafra government, you are across, okay? You are across the road. I must speak the truth, okay? Okay, and ever since they want to collect blessing with the name they despise. I'm just telling you the honest truth. Are these people okay at all? <laughs> Are these people okay? Eh? Are these people okay at all? You despise Simon for so much. You're using his name to see Kasalu. And you're telling me these people are okay. And they are not okay. So, dear friends, I will stop here and allow you to watch the videos. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. And make sure you cast your vote. It's very, very important. Thank you all. God bless you, dear Prime Minister. More strength to your able. Dear friends all over the world. Thank you all. And please always tune in once you get notification. We have 70 something thousand subscribers. I don't know where you people are. You don't even get up to 10,000 10, views. Where are you people? Like seriously. <laughs> so my friends, I'll stop here. Don't forget to share. Leave your comment at the comment section and leave a thumbs Good up. Thank you. All over the world. Today is 20th day of August 2024. And I am here uh, speaking to you from my base in Finland. I want to inform every one of you because it has become very imperative as we approach December convention in Finland. You must know certain things. The declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra that is to take place on the 2nd of December is targeted at achieving two objectives. One is the delegitimization of Nigeria. Two is the legitimization of Biafra. After the declaration, we are going to have a very long battle with Nigeria. But this battle, the good news is that we define how this battle will be fought. We will fight them diplomatically. We will fight them politically. We will fight them internationally. And of course, we will fight them locally. So, the 2nd of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, oh, there is still military barracks. There is still... You are going to have them. But let me tell you, if the Vietnamese fought America for years and succeeded in making America to flee. We are ready to fight Nigeria even more than what Vietnamese did. And we dictate how this particular war will be fought. We are never going into conventional warfare with Nigeria. But the delegitimization will take a different tone. And what I'm trying to tell you people today is that you must be prepared for a very long years of battle for the legitimacy of Biafra government. It is not something that happened in one day. It is not something that happened immediately after our declaration on 2nd of December. For 2nd of December, we mark the beginning of a very long battle, which we are going to show our determination with our actions and inactions. So my fellow Biafrans, all I'm here to tell you this afternoon is for you to understand that after the declaration in December on December 2nd, 2024, the battle begin. And we are not going to stop if it is going to take us 20 years to fight Nigeria differently than what we did in 67 and 70. We are ready for it. If it takes also 23 years for Taliban to defeat America and they left their land. We are ready to fight even 40 years. Since 1967 to 2024, Nigeria continued to fight us. The only thing is that we have not fought Nigeria until now. And in this fight, we are still defending ourselves. So 2nd of December will mark the beginning of the Biafra liberation. Do not expect something or any magic to happen. We will make the magic to happen. Thank you, and may God bless you. You can watch our people online. You can watch our people online. You can stay there, not. You can watch them online. This is coming up from a boy state. This is the Boeing State in Biafra land. You can watch our people. You can watch them. 
This is one of the units in Ezra conducting their, how, their own self-referendum for the exit of Nigeria. You can watch them. You can watch them from their back. That is to tell you that Biafra are ready to go. This is our people. You can watch them. They came out in mass to cast their vote. You can watch them. This is our people. You can see the the, the, the marvelous crowd. The crowd is also intimidated. That is to tell you Biafra are well ready. You can see them with their voters card on their hand so that their vote will be count. And that is why they came out today to cast their vote. And this is the unit in Eza. That is to tell you that Eza people are ready to make sure the Afra came into exist. And that is why they came out today. Biafra, yeah, what do you want to do? Want to for what? You want Biafra to come? Yes. And that is why you came here today? Yes. To cast your vote? Yes. But I'm assuring you that your vote will be count. Yes. There is nothing like a, 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 a selfish interest in this vote. Everything will be done in a way everyone will be happy. And every vote will be count. Yes. And I'm assuring you yes. that their friends will be happy about this vote. Yes. Mama, there don't turn only vote on. I had such a music. I had such a music at our vote to be afraid that I'm wrong. 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 I'm just going to ask you. I'm a German machine work off for shine. I kind of demand Nigeria and the Nigeria Vunu machine listen to get the Dobialal. I saw the pack around packing. I hope wrong wrong way. My life is like the front. In fact, I like what I have to get the country. I have to take a front. I'm a grim. 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 Afuku Nigeria. Nigeria,